Welcome back to your Algebra 1 Semester 1 uh, final exam review. Um, problem 36, or whatever number it might be this year, is really just trying to get you to interpret what's on a graph. There's no math here, it's just making sure you can read the data. So, let's think about what's happening. We have the women's winning times in marathons. So, for example, if I took a point here, let's take this one right here because it matches up pretty well. In 1985, the winning time in the marathon was right about 400 minutes, give or take, something like that, yeah. So 1985 took 400 minutes for a woman to run a marathon. But then if we jump over to, say, the year 2000, that's going to be a little bit over 300. We'll notice that now, in the year 2000, it took less time. The time went down. And that really seems to be the trend of this graph, that our graph is going in a downward direction, which really means as our years are getting bigger, right, our years are increasing, so let's see, as our years increase, and that's on the x-axis, then what's happening to our time? Well, our time is going down, right? As we move forward on the x, as our years get bigger, our times are going down. So our y is going to be decreasing. So let's see what says that in our um, answer choices. A says as the winning times x increase, time isn't on the x-axis. I'm sorry, uh, the amount of minutes isn't on the x-axis. As the years increase, yep, the winning times increase. Well, I don't think so. As our years got bigger, our times went down, so that's got to be out. As our years decrease, the winning times decrease. So if I went backwards, our times would be going up. So I don't think that's it. So then D says, as the years increase, the winning times decrease. That is it, and you are done.